welcome back to my channel. I am Amber from Amber's Books and More and today I have a long-awaited book haul. I actually have not done a book haul in like six months on my channel um, and that's because A, there was a few months there that I wasn't really buying any books and B, um, I just haven't gotten around to it. I don't know. Um, so I have quite a few books so I'm just going to jump right in. I'm going to try not to say too much about each book uh, because I have a lot. But um, let's just jump right in and get started. So the first uh, set of books that I'm going to show you are books that I didn't actually purchase. They were either gifts or sent to me uh, because November was my birthday month. And so I did get a few of them. Um, but I will say who gave them to me, even though there was really only like one person that gave me books. Um, but there's a few of them. So let's go. So the first book was actually sent to me by the publisher. And this is Dean Koontz, The Whispering Room. This one I was very excited about uh, because Dean Koontz is a favorite author of mine. And it's an arc and I've never gotten an arc that was this big of a name. Um, now it wasn't technically like just sent to me by the publisher. They I actually there's a group on face on a sorry not Facebook Goodreads that I follow that was doing a giveaway and picked my name and so I got sent this so I'm really excited about that. So the next six books I have were actually given to me on my birthday by Julie over at Pages and Pens. Definitely check her out. She's very sweet. Um, and there are some of these in here that I'm really excited to read uh, probably next year. Uh, so the first one is called Velvet. Um, and some of these I don't know what they're about. I don't know any of that so I'm just going to you know, show you. I actually love this cover a lot. It's really pretty. So this one looks like um, the main character attracted a demon. I'm about it. The next one is called Weightless by Sarah Bannon. Um, and this looks like it's kind of more of a contemporary set in the summer, which I am trying to read more contemporary. So thank you so much, Julie, for sending me more contemporaries to read. I'm really excited about that one. So the next one is called Strange Sweet Song by Addie Rule. Um, so I'm not sure what this one's about, but I love this cover. Um, it says music is in her blood. It looked like something, I mean, it looks like something I would really be interested in, so I'm glad that she sent me that as well. The next one is called Holding Smoke by L. Casamano. Now, I also have a set of books that she gave me as she was unhauling. So if any of these, Julie, I'm sorry, if any of these are ones that you gave me versus I, I took from me from unhauling, I'm not sure which were which sometimes, but um, this one is about a kid that's, or a person that is serving time for murders. Um, murdered an English teacher, but it says he wasn't, I don't know, it sounds good. It sounds like a uh, kind of more of a thriller, and I love thrillers, so I'm excited to read that one. These next two, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that she unhauled these and I took them. This one I know for sure. Uh, this is Vamp Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. Um, and this is by Seth Graham Smith. And he also wrote The Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. So I love anything to do with vampires. And um, the back of this book is just so cool. I love that. It's so cool. I'm really excited to read this one. Um, I'm just, the book that I'm working on that I've just finished writing and I'm editing has vampires in it so I'm trying not to read anything with vampires at the time being. Once I switch over to a new book I will be able to do that because it has no vampires in it uh, but I'm really excited about that one. And this one I'm pretty sure was a, that she unhauled but she may have gifted this to me. I'm not really sure. I'm sorry. Um, this is Mask of the Red Death by Bethany Griffin um, and this is about a plague and it's beautiful and I'm about it. So the next two I know for sure was so those some of those were unhauled when i was at her house uh, she asked me if i wanted them um these i know for sure she unhauled because she actually did a video and she asked me if i wanted any of them and i picked out two that i wanted uh the first one is the book of life this is by deborah harkness and this is a um the discovery of witches book i'm not sure if this is number two or not. i think it's number three um but i did read the first one and while it wasn't my favorite i did enjoy it enough to want to continue on with the series so now i just need to get the second one i think this is the third one so um but i was excited and it's a hardback and uh it's witches i like witches this one i was super excited when i saw it and um i have since read it and it wasn't the best book i had some issues with it I will leave my link to my Goodreads review that sums up my thoughts and issues with this one, but it will also be in my wrap up at the end of the month too, if you want to wait for that. Uh, but this was Eleanor and Park, and this was a special exclusive collector's edition, and it is signed. So with the exclusive, it has some uh, fan art, 
and stuff in here that she chose that fans had sent in. You see here, I really like this one, it's really pretty. Um, and it is signed, which was cool. Oh, and it kind of has, I didn't even notice that, it kind of has her initial, the initials of the characters, EMP. I didn't notice that before, but um, I am glad that I bought that, oh, I didn't buy it. I am glad that she gifted this to me uh, through her unhaul, and I am glad that I read it. Uh, and I am going to keep it for sure, even though this was a three-star book. So now let's move on to books that I purchased. Uh, so these first two books are books that I purchased at the Strand Bookstore in New York City when me and Julie went there for a day trip. Um, and the first one is Wild Beauty. And this has got to be by far one of my favorite covers that I've seen. Um, it's just a very pretty book and I haven't actually read it yet. I only got a few pages in and I just didn't have time so I did not finish it, but I will finish it. And it is really, really cool because like it says, The Strand, I don't know if you can see that right there on there and I will always keep it for that, you know, but um, it is a pretty book. I didn't read it in time for the book club, but uh, I, I will one day. So this other book that I got, um, I had to pick up. It was so pretty. It's The Complete Tales and Poems of Edgar Allan Poe. It has these beautiful silver edges. Um, and it's just, look at this. It's so pretty. I love this so much. I actually, uh, if you saw my unhaul, I had another copy of The Complete Tales and Poems that was not necessarily pretty, uh, but since I picked up this one, and just look at that spine, oh my gosh, I went ahead and decided to unhaul that one, and I will get to reading this fully through. Um, I'm going to probably next year, my goal is to read this over the course of the year and just do a few poems and stories at a time, um, but it's so it's so pretty and I love Poe so much. So the next four books that I have are books that I got from Book of the Month Club. Um, so I get a book every month through them um, and I have four. I probably have more that I haven't hold, but I don't remember which ones I have and haven't. So I know for sure that these I have not. So I'm just gonna show you these. Um, the first one is Little and Lion by Brandy Colbert. And this is so good. I saw this and I wanted to pick it up because I thought, oh, it's cute. You know, it sounds like a cute story. But then Chelsea over at Chelsea Darling Reads read it and loved it. So I was like, okay, I have it. I'm going to read it. I read it for Contemporary Thon and it was very good. It has a, a black bisexual main character who lives in a blended family and her stepbrother is white and it is about them. She is little, he is lion. And it has some, um, mental illness rep along the lines of like um, bipolar disorder, which was done very well. I have someone in my family that it, it, I understand what it's like to be around somebody that has that condition. And it was done very well, five out of five stars for sure. The next one was actually the one I just got for December. Um, and so I definitely have not read it yet. And it's called The Wife Between Us. Um, and this one sounds really intriguing. It has like um, when you read this book, you will make assumptions. You'll su assume you were reading about a jealous ex-wife and all this, but it's like, assume nothing. They actually sent me this little bookmark that's like, got snow print, book of the month on it. It's really cute. Um, but definitely intrigued on that one. So this one I was super excited about when I saw it. It's called The Rules of Magic by Alice Hoffman. So Alice Hoffman is the author that wrote, um, Practical Magic, which they made into a movie with um, Nicole Kidman and Sandra Bullock, which I love. And this is basically a prequel about the two ants that they live with, and I'm about it. I haven't read it yet, but I'm very excited about this. So this one is Artemis by Andy Ware. I'm really nervous about this one because I've been hearing such mixed reviews on it, uh, but I did not read The Martian, so I'm hoping that that helps me to not be as annoyed, and it's not super big, but I'm hoping that that helps me not to be super annoyed with it like everybody else seems to be. Um, but this one was my November pick and I'm really excited to get to this one soon. So the next little stack of books are books that I, are regular books that I picked up myself somewhere. Um, the first one is Sleeping Beauties by Stephen King and his son Owen King. This thing is massive and I will probably be listening to this on audiobook soon. Um, I wanted to read it for Halloween time, but I got busy with writing and I didn't have time. So I definitely... Hope this is good. I do like Stephen King, but some of his stuff is hit and miss for me, so uh, we'll give this one a shot. The next one is actually a book that I'm about to start reading probably today, and it is called We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. Um, this one was actually a recommendation on Julie over at Pages and Pens. This is a deluxe edition that I got from Barnes & Noble, um, and I was excited because it was signed. It does not say that it is signed, so it was a nice surprise when I opened it up. 
Um, but all I know about this is that it's gonna break me. It's gonna make me feel the feels. And I'm excited. But as you can see, I am trying to read more contemporaries. So if you want to suggest any non-fluffy uh, contemporaries for me to read down below, please let me know because I'm trying to up my repertoire, as they would say, of contemporary books. But I like the ones that have a lot of emotion attached to them. Um, yeah, so let me know. So, whoa, 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 whoa. So then I went out and I bought all three of the Diviner series. So if you watched my unhaul, I did pick up a different cover of the Diviners in Pennsylvania when I was with Julie, uh, but I unhauled it because I wanted this cover and I found it on Barnes and Noble. Um, and so I got these two were available on Amazon, but this one cover is not available on Amazon. It's only as far as I can see on Barnes and Noble. Um, so I have the Diviners, Lair of Dreams, and Before the Devil Breaks You. I have already read all three of these. These have such gorgeous covers. There's the Diviners. There's Lair of Dreams, and there's Before the Devil Breaks You. Um, I'm excited because I thought this was a trilogy, but it actually is a quartet, so there's going to be a fourth book, and I love this story. It's 1920s New York City, and it has ghosties and goblins and crazy stuff and people that have special abilities, and I'm about it. It's so good. Um, I would say this one was five stars, this one was four, and then this one went back to being a five star. I really love them a lot and recommend them. So my last little stack of books are graphic novels and graphic memoirs that I have picked up within the last couple of months. Uh, I'll start with the graphic memoirs. So I picked up Spinning by Tilly Walden. I read this for, did I read this for, I read this for contemporary a -thon. Um, no, no, no. I read this for Mini Moji and this was the winter sports. Um, it's about a girl here uh, named Tilly Walden and she, how her story of growing up as a competitive ice skater and synchronized ice skater. And um, I believe I gave this four stars. It was surprisingly pretty good. And then the next one I picked up that I also read for Mini Moji was this one, Summer. And this was one that was set in summer. Um, this is a weird one. It was about two girls that it's just their summer together uh, as best friends and kind of I don't know. It was weird. I didn't really understand what was happening. I gave this three stars. And this is by Jillian Tamaki and Mariko Tamaki. And then the last graphic memoir that I have uh, is Honor Girl, which I also read from Minimoji, and I got this on the recommendation of uh, Chelsea at Chelsea Dolan Reads. So this is about Maggie. It's by Maggie Thrash. This is about her summer um, at a summer camp where she kind of falls in love with a camp counselor and how she's coming out kind of as being lesbian and how she's coming to terms with that and it is very good um i really enjoyed this i give this five out of five stars we're almost there um so for graphic novels the first one i have here is nimona and this is by noelle stevenson i am really excited that i read this one um this one is um got really good art in it as well and it is about a girl here that is like a shapeshifter and she is the sidekick to the villain and it's really funny and it's really good and i definitely recommend this five out of five stars so this graphic novel was one that julie was um unhauling whenever i went to her house and it is called sex criminals and it's volume one um and it's by matt fraction and chip zadarsky and this is basically about this man and woman who whenever they orgasm they can stop time and of course what do you do when you can stop time you rob banks and so that's what they do um, and the art style is really good and hopefully that doesn't it is really adult um, but it was decent I think I gave it three or four stars um, it wasn't bad but it's not one that I'm not I'm not sure if I'm going to continue on with the series so then I went and I picked up the first three volumes that are currently out the three volumes that are out of I hate fairyland so volume one is called madly ever after this is by Scotty Young and then volume two is called fluff my life and then volume three is called The Good Girl, or just Good Girl. Um, I really love these. The third volume was definitely my favorite, um, but overall the art style in these is so good. Here's some here. Well, that's hard to do. Here's some here. Um, it's just a really cool art style and it's a really cool, fun, adult, read uh because it is pretty graphic as far as um violence goes but i definitely recommend it it is it's a really good series so that's all i have for you today that is all the books that i have um so um 
yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, until next time, have a great day wherever you are, and I love you. Bye.